Hi guys, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So today I want to look at some further changes that 9.1 has brought in, and I want to ask a question. So last night I did a stream purely on medium tanks because I released a video yesterday, said my initial thoughts on 9.1, and there were a lot of comments there saying, oh, why well, you didn't play any medium tanks. So I purposely did a stream yesterday evening solely on medium tanks in 9.1 and the changes they've got. Now I played the likes of the 907, the T22, the STB1, the Object 140, the Leo 1 and the T62A. And the thing that came to me was the Leo 1 just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a Leo 1. And that really confused me. Now, when I say it doesn't feel like a Leo 1, a couple of things. Firstly, the changes that Wargaming made are pretty superficial. They replaced the APCR shell with an AP shell. Not a bad thing. The vehicle durability was decreased by 50 um, hit points. Again, you know, 50 HP, you ain't really gonna miss it. The damage to the standard shell will be increased by 10 hit points. Not a good, not a bad thing. The reticle calibration consumable will be added and improved gunpowder would also be added. None of these should fundamentally change the vehicle. But you know what? I really struggled in this tank last night. And I'm gonna show you a couple of games. Now, at first I thought, oh, it's just me. I'm just playing like a complete nut monkey brain. But then I jumped into the T62A. Now, the Leo and the T62A have always had really nice guns, some of the most accurate in the game. When I played the Leo, I found two things. One, the accuracy wasn't as good anymore. Not until I dropped that reticle calibration, which I shouldn't need to do. That was number one. Number two, it was really struggling to pen. And that, it's never really struggled previously. Okay, admittedly they had APCR last time, but look, they've, they've, they've changed it to AP. That really shouldn't make much of a difference, but it does. Okay, and yes, the standard shell is increased by 10 HP when you cause that damage. But another thing that I also noticed was I was being outspotted by heavy tanks. Now that to me was like bizarre. Now look, the Leo hasn't always had the best camo profile when it's been when it shoots, but I shouldn't be outspotted by a heavy tank. Anyway, that wasn't my main concern. My main concern was the following: the Leo's gun just doesn't seem right. Now look, it could just be me. I, I could just be playing like a potato, and that's <laughs> that, that's possible because I'm not a great Leo player. However. I can generally play the Leo reasonably well. Last night, I really struggled in this tank. And as I said, the accuracy and the penetration just seems off. It doesn't see to me that the gun is right. Now, as I said, I thought, oh, maybe it's just you, maybe you just play like a potato. So I then jumped into a T62A. And boy, that tank is singing. And I'm gonna show you a couple of replays. Uh, I'm gonna show you a replay on the Leo 1. In fact, I'm gonna show you two, which are interesting. And I'm gonna show you a couple of replays on the T62A, so you can sort of see my mind thinking direction here. Okay, I admit, last night the teams weren't the best. They, they were pretty bad um, in some quarters. So you've got to factor that in also, because if you've got a bad team, you're not generally going to do very well. But I was tuning with very, very good players who, um, who also struggled. Not in the Leo 1, but because of the teams. So you have to take that into account also. If you've got a bad team, the team lets you down, that generally shows you that the tank is, 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 is looking poor. But in some of the games that I played with the Leo, the team didn't let us down at all. It was the tank that let us down. So let's have a look at the first game on the Leo. So here we are on Fort Despair with the Leo 1. And I'm gonna take it to the top corner, which is where I normally take the Leo 1. And the thing that got me about the Leo was how inaccurate the gun seems to be. 
And this is the thing that's... Now, I don't know if it's the aim, uh, the new aiming system. I mean, to be fair, I haven't played the Leo since the new aiming system has been introduced. But you'll see in a moment, I just struggle with the accuracy on this tank. Now, the Leo used to be pinpoint, almost laser-guided accuracy. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. In fact, I mean, I don't drop the reticle in this game, the calibration reticle. But I shouldn't need to. But now, look at this. I mean, that's just missing, and I'm aiming for the top hatch. Prior to 9.1, I feel pretty confident I would have actually smacked that. There, I, I again, just getting that bounce. And again, I'm feeling pretty confident that prior to 9.1, these shots would be landing. But they don't seem to be. And what I found that if I don't drop the reticle, it just doesn't feel as accurate, to be honest with you. And we're really struggling with this M60 here. Now look, the M, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for the, the cupola and just can't get it. Now watch this shot in a moment. I mean, that grill manages to pinpoint accuracy, get me. He's, he's over the other side of the map. Yet, you know, I can't spot the grill. Okay, the grill can spot me, but I can't spot him. Missed the T57 completely. So, I, I'm just wondering, have they done something to this Leo? Because it just doesn't feel like the same tank. It really doesn't. Unfortunately, we die here because of the E100 behind. Now, of course, this could be me. I mean, I could just be playing like a potato or whatever. And, you know, I factored that in. But I'm going to places I would usually take the Leo. Okay, and I'm still struggling to get those shots to land. But I'm also struggling to spot and that shouldn't be the case with the Leo. I mean, I get this one to land on the 50B, but I shouldn't be struggling to spot. In, I, in a moment, I struggled to spot that gorilla. Now, you know, watch this shot on the, where's that go? I mean, normally that would land. I'm, I'm absolutely certain that would land. Same as this. It would land, yet it doesn't seem to want to play. It doesn't seem to be is pinpoint accurate as it was last time. So I've had to drop this aiming reticle and that will give me that accuracy a little bit, but I shouldn't need to drop that reticle. Now, you know, I understand Wargaming have not changed the gun, they haven't changed anything on the, on the gun itself, but it just doesn't feel right. It feels flat. It feels less accurate. It, it just doesn't feel like a Leo should feel. Now that's not to say you still can't have good games in it. I mean, you can, but it seems that the play style of the Leo has been changed somewhat. Now, as I said, I thought, well, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm playing like a potato. And after the Leo, I, which I got fed up with, I jumped into a T62A, which is similar play style. But you know, we get wrecked in the end. We only do 1800 damage. As I said, that's not to say you can't have good games in the Leo. But I found out to change my playstyle. In fact, I became far more nervous playing the Leo. I didn't want to overextend. Now, you're not meant to overextend in a Leo. I get that. I understand that. But I found myself playing a lot more passively than I normally would. And, I mean, the Leo, as I said, has always benefited from the mobility, which it still has. But more importantly, that pinpoint laser accuracy, which it feels like it's lost. I was also bouncing a lot more than I normally would in a Leo. Now that could be the fact that I've changed, we changed from APCR down to AP. And maybe, just maybe, the penetration values have changed. I don't know, I can't remember what the previous penetration values were on the Leo, but it just doesn't feel like the same tank. And that's just my honest opinion. And I was, look, I've said, I've never been the best Leo player on the planet. Uh, it's a tank that I don't generally get on with, to be honest with you. Doesn't generally suit my playstyle. But regardless of that, it just feels that something isn't right with the tank, with its gun. It feels like I'm being forced to use that reticle calibration a lot more. And that really shouldn't be the case because they haven't changed the parameters of the gun. But that's how it feels to me. Now, I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that's wrong. I don't know if it's just in my head. 
I don't know if you know I'm reading too much into it, but it just doesn't feel right. Now there's a shot coming up at the Kranwagen here, which normally nine times out of ten we would land, but look, goes straight over the top and bang behind him. And I'm like, well, where did that go? How did that happen? Because the Leo is much better. Now watch this E100. I mean, this E100 in a minute gets a blind on me. He's an E100. Watch. Blinding shot on me in a moment, this E100. I'm going to take the crown wagon out first. Watch the E100. He's more accurate than me. How can that be? Don't understand it myself. You know, look at this. I mean, again, previously, I would have landed those shots. I'm pretty sure we would have landed those shots. Admittedly, we win. We only do 2,000 damage. The Leo was much better than that previously. Or at least I think it was much better than that previously. And now, if I'm being honest, I, I'm really struggling in it. And I got a second class there for 2K, um, which really shouldn't be the case. I mean, the Leo's bar should be higher than that. It used to be a beast of a tank. And to me, it just feels that something is missing, but it could just be in my brain. But like I said, I then jumped into the T62A. I was sat there feeling myself, well, you know, I'm just playing like a Muppet in the Leo, and it, it, it's just not working for me. Maybe I'm just over-reading all these mediums. So I'm gonna jump into a T62A, and maybe, just maybe, that will work. So I jumped into the T62A straight after playing the Leo, and here I am on Canyon, and if only that guy in the Sheridan saying Vale 60%, if only he knew how <laughs> many 53%, 54%, but there we go. So I'm going to the middle, only to spot, because I don't have the gun depression, as we all know, and we spot the TVP. So I'm just gonna hang around the middle area for the moment, it's trying to get these spots, trying to see if we can move anything around. Now I found the T62A a lot more responsive. I found it a lot more accurate, and I found the gun handling a lot better than that of the Leo. Now look, prior to 9.1, both tanks <clears throat> had pretty decent guns. Both tanks had very, very accurate guns. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna sit here and sort of blow the wind up your backsides. They really were. The T62A had a stonkingly good gun, but so did the Leo. Now, I played both tanks as I would normally play them, yet I really struggled in that Leo with its gun. I didn't struggle with anything out, well, maybe the spotting. I mean, as I said, I mean, it's like the camo profile is not as good. But I just found the T62A's good. Okay, that wasn't particularly accurate, was it? It's still very bouncy like this. But I found the T62A's gun to be a lot more accurate. I mean, look at that on the 121 there. Boom. Unbelievable. I mean, that is from the other side of the map. Now, I was trying to smack things in the Leo much closer than that, and it just wasn't playing. It just was saying, the computer says no. Whereas in this tank, it just felt, I don't know, better. It just felt better. And again, we get the good shot on the E100. We're gonna push these E100s now. And as I said, I mean, the teams weren't the best yesterday. I'm not gonna disagree, but you can't always blame the team. I mean, that's just terrible, look at that. <laughs> I'm such a nab. But um, I just found the T62A's gun to be nicer, more forgiving, more accurate. And that has not always been the case. I mean, it's struggling to pen there, but hey. I mean, I expected the STB to shoot him, but he's, he's clearly forgot that he's got a gun on his tank. I have to admit, I mean, I've always liked the T62A, but I just sat there thinking, hang on a moment, you know? I mean, watch this. You saw, I mean, look at that. And now you saw a much closer 50B on, on, um, Black Goldville when I was in the Leo, and I, I couldn't pet him for, I couldn't hit him for Toffee. Here, in the T62A with the gun doing all this, I managed to get a decent shot from the other side of the bloody map. So it's got me thinking, is, is the, has something happened to the Leo 1 that we're not aware of? Because in my mind, which is small as it can be, it just doesn't seem right. It just doesn't feel right. And, like I said, I just can't put my finger on it. 
Whereas we have a great game there in the T62.8. We're not setting the world on fire, but we do 2.3K. And, you know, I was struggling to break 2K in the Leo because I was being spotted from everywhere on the map by, by heavies, not just by light tanks. The heavies were spotting me from all over the place. And I was like, oh, what the hell is going on here? Because I just couldn't work it out, to be honest with you. I did say in the stream yesterday, you're going to get good teams and you're going to get bad teams. And that also means you're going to get good enemies and you're going to get bad enemies. So you've got to take that factor in. But look at this. I mean, these are shots that I was missing in the Leo. These are shots that I was really struggling to, 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 to get on that Leo. I mean, that was a lucky shot because the Leo decided to eat the, uh, eat the round intended for the 268. But my fact, you know, my, my query still remains. Has something more been done to the Leo? Because most of the players I found in it last night were struggling. Um, I didn't see any decent Leo games. And there were quite a few games where, the, where players on the other side were playing in a Leo. So it does make me wonder, have Wargaming done something to that little Leo? Other than what I've shown you. Now, I'm just going to show you the T62A, what they've done. I mean, okay, they've increased the speed. They've been, you know, the engine power has come down, the dispersion has been increased, the APCR has been replaced, the dispersion increased again, aiming time increased, MRO rack capacity increased. So again, these are not massive changes, but it just feels that the T62A is much, much more accurate than that of the Leo. I mean, I was missing shots like that in the Leo. I was bouncing shots like that in the Leo. I'm having none of the same issues here with the T62A. I mean, that was just a bad shot. That wasn't the tank, that was me. But I'm not having the same problems. Now, I don't know if anybody else is seeing this, and don't, don't get me wrong, I'm not pitching this towards those super duper unicorns out there because they can make all tanks sing. But if you're an average player, then you've got to be asking yourself the question, what have they done to the Leo? Is the Leo being changed in any way, shape or form other than what Wargaming said? Has those little minor changes just upset the balance of the Leo ever so slightly? And I don't know is the answer to that question. And I know, this is the thing, I just have no idea. But I was just really struggling last night in that Leo. Now, if any of you out there have played the Leo since the update, I'd love to know what you think. As I said, some people on the stream said to me they felt they, they, they've been feeling the same thing, that the Leo just doesn't feel accurate unless you drop that reticle consumable, which isn't meant to be the case. Now, we all laughed and joked when we said, oh, why does it need a reticle consumable? Because it's an accurate gun. And prior to 9.1, but now I'm thinking, Hmm, maybe they have done something. Maybe they have tinkered ever so slightly with that aiming that we just don't see anything anymore with regards to its accuracy. And as I said, that's not right if that is the case. I don't know if it is the case, but it's not right if it is. Now here in this game, okay, we had some potato team on the other side and we do four over 4K, but I struggled in the Leo to break 2K. I didn't struggle in the T62A to break 4K. Not in, the, not in the slightest. I mean, it was a much easier time. We had a much better time. And there you go, we get a C. 4K, I only get a second class. Remember, I got a second class in the Leo for doing just over 2K. That, to me, is saying that mm, the Leo is not as good as it used to be. Now look at the Leo on the other team. He only did 160. Now, admittedly, he may not be a great player, but that was what I was seeing last night. Everybody playing in a Leo was really, really struggling to knock out some decent damage. But I just want to show you, actually, because this guy, okay, he's, he's a newish player, but he's got a 58% win rate for all intents and purposes. He only got four shots out. He's not a bad player, to be fair, okay? He's not a bad player, yet he really struggled to make that Leo work yesterday. And as you can see here, when I jump into his stats, 
on the Leo, he's got a 55% win rate. You know, he generally dishes out decent damage. He's generally very accurate in that tank. So it's not like he doesn't know how to play it. But like me, he too really struggled in that tank. Really, really struggled. Okay, his average damage is 2.2k. That's his average damage in the Leo. So it's not like he doesn't know what he's doing because he clearly does. And when I look at his overall stats, we see here that majority of his games are in tier 10. So he's by no means a potato player. He's a really good player. Yet he struggled in that Leo. And that's what I was finding. So I thought I'd just ask the question. Anyway, I've been Fujit. And that's been my look at the Leo 1 and the T62A post 9.1. One tank, I'm feeling something has happened. Something has changed. The other tank, pretty much the same. If not, slightly better. Whereas the Leo just doesn't feel right. Not for me. Maybe it feels right for you. Maybe that you're having a good time in it. Maybe you're enjoying it. Maybe it's slightly better for you. For me, I'm not feeling that love that I once had with the Leo. I'm not feeling that accuracy that the Leo was renowned for. And that troubles me, to be honest. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, I had a whale of a time in the T62. I had a whale of a time in the Object 140. I had a great time in the 907, all tanks, all Russian tanks that seem to be playing very nicely now since 9.1. But the Leo just doesn't feel right. I, like I said, look, I'm, I, you know, I've never been the best Leo player ever, but I've always managed to churn out a decent amount of damage in the damn thing, even in the bad games. Yet now, I mean, yesterday was a disaster. Uh, it really struggling sometimes to break 1k, let alone 2k. Whereas T62A, no such problems. Easy peasy. Anyway, I've been Fujit. By all means, comment and everything below. I'd love to hear your, th your views, your thoughts on this. Because it is, well, breaking my head and giving me a headache on um, what's going on here because I, I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the tank. I don't know and I'd love to. Until the next time, guys, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Trying to have fun and being happy.